Hey Virgo, how are you? This is Ashley from Serendipity Tarot and this is your general love reading. Happy Friday. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, we're going to see what's going on with you guys in love. If it resonates, great. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you aware of when I upload these readings. You don't want to miss out. If you want a personal love reading, I am available. All the details are in the description box, okay? Um, no need to email me. You can go to my website, purchase a reading there. You can go to my Etsy shop, purchase a video recorded reading there. You can also purchase one by Etsy message. Put the turnaround, a much more affordable option. It just depends on what you want, what you're looking for, Virgo. All right, let's jump right in. This is for February 2022. You could be dealing with a Virgo. You can be a Virgo, okay? Take what resonates and leave the rest. One last shuffle and we're going to get right into your reading. All right, what is the challenge for Virgos in love, please? The challenge is the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, okay? So it looks to me like there's something that maybe you are questioning if you should invest in, if you should continue to put your hard-earned time, energy, effort, money, whatever it is, okay? I feel like there's something here that you are, you're taking a step back from. I'm getting a lot of contemplation on investing in a particular opportunity. Um, give me the recent past. We have the Nine of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords in reverse, and the Nine of Swords. A lot of swords here. You could be dealing with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It looks to me like there was some kind of ending or situation here. Maybe recently you got out of a relationship because it looks to me with the Nine of Pentacles, you are newly single or you're just embracing that singlehood. You're independent. You're working on yourself. Um, and, you know, you're pretty content for the most part. The Nine of Pentacles is when you have everything you need. It's not like you're in this place of lack or you're missing something from your life. You're complete all by yourself. However, there is a lot of negative thinking here, Virgo. Okay, it's telling me with the Nine of Swords, there's still some stress or anxiety, um, overthinking about something that may have ended. It's still, it looks to me like you're still trying to overcome something, even though you are fine all by yourself. It looks like there was some kind of ending in your life that you're still kind of a not you, you haven't part ways with. It's still energetically affecting you and it could be very much still on your mind. So I think that's something you're actively trying to move away from. Now, let's see what the current energy is. The current energy, we do have the Knight of Wands, the Two of Wands, and the Queen of Wands. So it looks to me like there could be a fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries, someone who comes in unexpectedly. This could be someone new or, you know, it could be anybody. But there's someone here who's coming in very, very quickly, very animated, very um, action-oriented, adventurous, passionate. Maybe this is someone who's very, very attracted to you. You could be meeting this person, right? Um, you certainly could be seen as the Queen of Wands. But for some of you guys, I feel like this is someone who's coming towards you. But they may also have to... Uh, choose between you and another person i feel with the two wands and the queen of wands here it's telling me that someone here may be keeping you as an option um uh, maybe that's why something ended in the past because someone didn't know what they wanted they liked you virgo but they also had their hands on someone else they were entertaining someone else i feel like there was a lot of um indecision right now you could be in a situation where there's a lot of indecision with someone that you're dealing with and you want to move forward with them but it's almost like this person has to pick a direction okay so give me the energy of what's coming in i feel like you're dealing with someone who's very immature and maybe is trying to put off a commitment ten of wands in a verse we have the ace of cups i like it and the ten of pentacles in verse it looks to me like virgo even though something here doesn't work out the way that maybe you envision it we got two tens right Ten of Pentacles and a Ten of Wands. It's almost like something has fallen apart. Something that you really maybe had spent a lot of time putting effort into. You were really trying to uh, build something for the long term here. And it looks like something crumbled. But it looks also to me that there's something you're having to move away from that has been burdening your life or maybe has been holding you back. It also seems to me that you have a new beginning coming in, the Ace of Cups. It's a beautiful love offer. So some of you guys, you could be meeting someone new. Ace of Cups could be a renewal of a love as well. Just depends. But the Ace of Cups, very fulfilling, very, very loving. And I feel like this is someone here that is going to really love you the right way, okay? So Virgo, maybe there's another opportunity with someone here, but it definitely looks like it could be a new offer as well. Now on your mind, Virgo... 
Queen of Cups. It could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio you're dealing with. And then we have the Seven of Wands. It looks to me like Virgo. There's the energy of you really fighting for what you want. Okay. Um, maybe you've been, you're really fighting for what you want regarding love. There's something particularly about, you know, fighting for the right kind of love. Fighting for someone who's going to love you the right way. The Queen of Cups energy is telling me that some of you guys, you were in situations where you're not emotionally feeling supported by your partner. You weren't feeling loved or appreciated. It was almost like you were in a partnership, but you wasn't really with them, you know? So I feel like this is about you standing up for what you want, setting boundaries, and being very clear about what you're looking for. And if you don't feel supported and loved and cherished and nurtured, then that's something that you know you perhaps have to leave behind or stop investing in. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So some of you guys, you may be in a situation where you're not feeling very loved. And especially if you're dealing with someone who has another option. And so you may pull away from that situation but it does look like you have a new beginning so some of you guys you could be making this person finally step up to the plate and offer you the real love the kind that you want others of you guys you could be moving away from someone and a new person comes in and you get the love that you want okay so in the foundation what are you not aware of Ace of Swords, the Chariot, and the Two of Pentacles. It looks to me like there will be a lot of communication coming in. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We also got Cancer energy. There's a lot of communication coming in. It's truthful. It's honest. Someone may be certainly uh, saying something that they've been wanting to say for a really long time, especially if there was a lot of like hesitation to do something with the Two of Pentacles. Okay, I feel like the Chariot is speaking about something moving forward towards you. It's happening very quickly. Someone knows what they want. Um, I also feel like the Two of Pentacles could be like some hesitation initially, but I feel ultimately something is finally going to take off with the Chariot. It's going to be victorious. It's coming in very quickly for sure. Okay, so let's jump right in. And let's get some more clarity for you, Virgo. Clear, concise, accurate messages for Virgo in love. Page of Wands wants to come out, y'all. Okay, so there could be a change, a, a new direction that you're heading regarding love. Maybe someone comes in with some kind of passionate message, message to move things forward in a new direction. Give me the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like this is about you stop trying or stop investing. Why is the Eight of Pentacles? There's been a lack of change with regard to maybe a situation in your life. And it's got you thinking, okay? The Seven of Pentacles in the world in reverse. When something doesn't work out, when something is not moving in a direction you want it to, right? There's been a lot of misfortunes, a lot of delays, right? Um and you feel like something is out of your control, it makes you stop and think, Virgo. And that's what you're doing with the Seven of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles in first. A lot of you guys are stopping and you're thinking about if this is something worth investing in. Um, if I continue to put my time, my energy into this, what will it look like five years from now, ten years from now? What does my future look like with this person? So give me the recent past. Um, give me the Nine of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles and the Sun in the verse. It looks to me like some of you guys, you were blinded. You may have been in a commitment or a connection here with the Ten of Pentacles. Um, we got the Ten of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. Uh, yeah, it looks to me like you were definitely in some kind of commitment that seemed very promising and stable. Until it wasn't. Because it looks to me with the Ten of Swords and the Sun in verse, someone betrayed you. Someone may have not been telling something to you or disclosing something. Uh, their feelings, their emotions, or, you know, what they really wanted. I feel something here blindsided you because the sun is in reverse. It's like you didn't see something, and it could have affected your home, your uh, overall stability, your home, your family with the Ten of Pentacles, your marriage. Someone definitely blindsided you. It could have been a Leo here, and it created a lot of stress, Nine of Swords, anxiety for you. Queen of Pentacles in a verse. Yeah, this is someone that kind of all of a sudden, unexpectedly, it could have been like a turn of the event, Ten of Swords. You hit rock bottom. Um, you lost all your stability, your support. You know, there's something here about this person ripping the, the rug from under you, okay? With however that affected you, it, it, it brought forth a lot of instability in your life, okay? Whether it's mental instability, emotional, um, physical, financial. And the Five of Wands, you know, I feel like this is something here that... Maybe there was like some kind of competition. Maybe you had you had to feel like you had to compete for them or fight for them back. Um, there was a lot of resistance with you and this person. But it also looks like to me, Virgo, you became newly single. Some of you guys, you may have decided to no longer fight a situation and be single and work on yourself and be independent. So give me the energy of the Knight of Wands. 
could be something coming in in the current energy. Queen of Cups and the King of Cups in reverse. Okay, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone could be coming in to address this connection. Someone here who they have, um, you know, someone who has love for you. They may certainly view you as a Queen of Cups or King of Cups. Just take it how it resonates. Give me another card on what this person's coming in with. There's some kind of action. The High Priestess and the Two Wands. Two Wands came out twice. So it's telling me that someone is picking and choosing between you and another person, it looks like to me, or two paths, two options. This could be you choosing. Um, I feel like there's a lot of unknowns. There's a lot of unknowns still. And someone has to pick. Someone has to choose. Like, what are you doing now? How are you going to move forward? That's that's in the energy right now. And I feel like with this Queen of Wands, I don't think this is you, Virgo. So I feel like someone has to choose between two people, two parties. And it's like they don't want to. They've been putting this off for a really long time, being very sneaky. But the time is now, the wheel. In order for this to move forward, someone has to choose. And I feel like there's been a lot of delayed procrastination with regard to this. Now, in terms of um, what's coming in for you guys, um, we do have some kind of burdens or letting down something. Ace of Cups. But I'm going to clarify what's on your mind first. Let's see what the Seven of Wands or something you're fighting for. The lovers in reverse with the hermit in reverse. It looks to me like a lot of you guys are taking a break from someone um, because it's like you want you want a particular type of treatment. You expect something here, okay? You have expectations. And I feel, Virgo, there's someone in your life that you had to cut off or you had to pull away from. The lovers in reverse could be a breakup. The hermit is that you had to go within. You had to do some deep thinking, healing recovery introspection okay repair um and it looks to me like you had to disconnect and but it was necessary so i feel like with the queen of cups some of you guys are really are honing into what's important to you especially with regard to your emotional health um give me the ace of swords or someone in the foundation that may communicate with you ace of swords what's this about the empress in reverse and the page of wands in reverse. Someone wants to communicate about not being able to take care of you, protect you. The empress in reverse, I feel like this is someone who did not do enough to show you that they desired you and that you were first. You were the priority in their life. This is someone who wasn't able to move forward with you and do, uh, do something or offer something. Okay, I feel this person gave up. Page of Wands in verse, and now they want to talk about it. The Page of Wands in verse can also be this person just lost interest in you and they could be talking about why what happened there why something wasn't abundant why is the chariot here the five of pentacles and the nine of swords in verse i feel this person is also being driven to come forward because they're very stressed about being away from you or left out in the cold it's almost like you have put this person out in the cold in some way virgo or you're just not talking to them which makes them feel abandoned by you and they're wanting to talk about it that's what's driving this person to come forward and maybe even make a decision because this is someone who doesn't like this type of treatment that you're giving them five of pentacles they don't like to be away from you they don't like to be in this place of feeling distant so let me see what's coming in the ace of cups is a new offer but it looks like there's some kind of ending that you have to experience first the ten of wands in reverse and the ten of pentacles nine of pentacles in reverse six of cups in reverse page of pentacles in reverse it looks to me for the majority of you guys this is a new love offer i feel like there's a um six of cups in reverse could be indicating you're moving away from a past person who really just disappointed you they're Certainly was an expectation to come together and have some kind of relationship. But with the Page of Pentacles in verse, you're realizing that this person doesn't have anything to offer. And you may have a lot more to offer this person in the long run. And honestly, I just feel like this person hasn't been giving you the emotional fulfillment and satisfaction you've been wanting. So I feel for the majority of you guys, this Ace of Cups is a new offer of love. Give me the Ace of Cups with a new person four pentacles in a verse and a ten of swords yeah it looks to me like a lot of you in order for this new beginning to come in this new fulfilling beautiful love offer you having to accept an ending as an ending ten of swords four pentacles in verse stop holding on to something from the past let it go four pentacles in verse is dropping it stop holding on to something or a situation or person sometimes we hold on to people that just aren't good for us and the four pentacles in verse is dropping it letting it go and accepting ten of swords and ending that has happened. So it looks to me with the Ace of Cups, there could be a new person coming in. As soon as you do that, that is your challenge, right? And with the world in reverse, 
And with the Seven of Pentacles in verse, you have to, I mean, Seven of Pentacles upright, you have to really think about this, do some deep, deep, deep reflecting. Because the world in the verse is something here that hasn't been moving in the right direction for a reason. There's been a lot of delays and hardships and challenges because something here may not have been, been for you. Okay. So, Virgo, that is what I'm seeing. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Okay. And have a great weekend. Take care.